I am Dr. Padmanabha Shanoi. I am a consultant rheumatologist and immunologist and I am a medical director of Center for Arthritis Home Rheumatism and Excellence Care at Kochi. The, almost all the vaccine trials always include healthy people and assess their immune response and assess the, all the efficacy studies are done on healthy patients. There are not, not many literature on how the immunosuppress respond to these vaccines. So, we took around 1000 patients who have, have received various type of vaccines, especially in our population, I am a rheumatologist, so I have taken, we are, in our center we have patients who are immunosuppressed because they received immunosuppressing drugs for autoimmune disease. And what we could realize was that despite receiving two doses of vaccine, significant proportion of people do not mount immune response. This was more true with inactivated vaccine or covaxin. With those, out of the uh, 300 people who received covaxin, only 40 percent had any immune response mounted or they had antibodies against the COVID to fight. Uh, but in the Covishield group, more than 85 to 90 percent of them had antibodies. This goes on to say that inactivated vaccines are less efficacious or less immunogenic in a immunosuppressed patient. Why this is important is because around in, in, if we take India's population, 2 to 3 percent of them will be immunosuppressed. And in this population, we need just to see whether they have mounted adequate immune response following vaccination. In this group, those who are having immunosuppressed, the after vaccination, it is not guaranteed that they, they develop immunity against COVID. It is extremely important to test whether they have developed adequate immune response. Mm -hmm. How do we do that? The, there is an antibody test available now against the anti RBD antibody against the S protein, which is very commonly available, but there are certain manufacturers which are more reliable. And by testing the antibody and looking at the antibody levels of anti S RBD, there are a lot of anti COVID antibodies available, but they do not test anti spike antibody against RBD protein is the what we need to test. And if you look at the level of the antibody, definitely we can say whether somebody has mounted immune response or not. Especially when somebody has levels of these antibodies are zero or very low, you can say that they are the people who need frequent boosters. In people who are got a uh, COVID infection, initially people thought that they will have lesser immunity than those who have got a vaccine. To an extent it is true. But what happens when somebody has a infection and followed that they get vaccinated. That is what is called hybrid immunity. So what people have shown and our group also had shown is that after receiving two doses of vaccine, you get a immunity around uh, five, five, 400 or 500 levels. But if you have an infection, followed that you get a vaccination, your immunity level is 25 to 30 times of that two doses of vaccine. That is what is called hybrid immunity. That is best of both world like infection with vaccination, then you get a super immunity and that is what protects them from severe infection in the future. That is one of the precise reasons why India did not have the huge Omicron wave. In India, what happened during the Delta wave, a lot of people got infected. Following that, India had a very good vaccination campaign. So, majority of the people in India have this hybrid immunity of infection followed by vaccination. That is precisely the reason when the world saw a huge number of patients during Omicron, India was not hit to that extent. And this hybrid immunity is going to stay for a longer time than vaccine induced immunity and that may protect those who are infected and if they are vaccinated, their protection level is likely to stay high for longer time.